Okay, good, good evening, everybody. I guess you can hear me out, those of you out at the edges of the science building. We, I was worried about doing this event today because of the weather. Uh, we've been together a good bit the last few days, and it's, I think it's uh, symptomatic of uh, not being together enough that we have about the biggest crowd we've ever seen at a senior picnic. And we, we decided we, it would be really difficult to move this picnic because there are so many other events, particularly athletic events, that it would be hard to schedule another time. So I'm glad that the rain held off. I know it's a little cooler, but it's not too bad. I saw a number of you bring some blankets. Uh, one year, when the dining hall was being built, we moved commencement to this quadrangle. And anybody who was at that commencement remembers it vividly because it started to rain when I was reading the S part of the alphabet. And everyone there says that was the fastest reading of the names ever at a graduation. By the time I got to the last student, it was about to pour. And we raced out of this quadrangle to end that graduation. But we're not going to have the rain tonight, but we are going to start now. It's a very simple program. We'll hear some instrumental music. We'll hear a student make some comments. And then we'll hear uh, some choral music. Uh, or a song, I probably should say. So we're going to start now uh, with Will, Morrow, Ethan, Jason, and William. And they're going to perform Riviera Paradise by Stevie Ray Vaughan. Please join me in welcoming them.
remarkable to hear and see the kind of talent that we have each year at these senior events. So thanks to the five of you. It would also be uh, wrong, I think, if I didn't mention that it's been a tough couple of days at school with the loss of Joe Sharble. But there's some wonderfully bright moments, and I'm thinking about that as the darkness is about to hit us. When I started off to school this morning, I was walking in the parking lot around 5 to 7, and s students get here earlier than that, and they were there, and I, these two brothers got out of their car right where I was, and they had blue blazers on and ties, and I thought, did I miss something? And I stopped and said to them, why, why do you have blazers on today? What, what's going on? thinking I should know what's going on. And they said that they wanted to do it in honor of uh, Joe Sharble. And that went out on social media last night. Uh, students thought that would be a, a wonderful way to honor him. And at the end of the day, I was talking to Caroline Scholler right between these buildings. And she told me that Joe's wife Susan and his sons Ian and Jason are going to come to uh, his advisory on Friday morning. And she said she just had the nicest note from the advisees they had decided to uh, uh, buy some flowers for them and to greet them earlier when they come on Friday morning. You know, so you, you see a lot of sweetness and kindness and 
softness among boys in a setting like this every day. And I was thinking about all of this as I was watching Ethan play on the far right because as I walked up tonight, he said, I said to him, how are you doing? He must have said something like, well, I'm processing that there's only 50 days left in my time at NBA. And I said, yes, it really does go quickly. And he said, yeah, I've really thought about that the last few days and how precious life is. I think that's a good reminder tonight. Uh, as I said, there, there's a very little program tonight, but great program, I think, this first song. And, uh, and then secondly, I'd, I had lunch last week with Miles uh, Versa, and it was a good time to kind of get to know him a little bit better because it was a full lunch period and there were just a few students with me in, at lunch. And I was really impressed with how thoughtful he is. And it made me reflect upon his moving from Athens, Tennessee four years ago and, and seeing the person that evolved. And so I asked him to make some comments about that tonight. Please join me as Miles comes up. Yes, sir. Good evening, everyone. Can everybody hear me? Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Miles Versa. Uh, like Mr. Joy said, I, I moved here uh, in ninth grade from Athens, Tennessee. It's about two and a half miles away from here. And uh, it's a very small town. So coming here from Athens, like 14,000 people, to Nashville, which is like 700,000 people is a big change for me, so that's guess what I'm going to be talking about tonight. Um, coming here in ninth grade was a big change for me, uh, and with that change came a lot of questions. Uh, I remember wondering the couple days before uh, the first day of school, you know, what school was going to be like. I was coming from a public school to a private school from middle school to high school. Also remembering who my friend's gonna be, how would I fit in with the basketball team, and you know, in four years, would I have enjoyed my four years here at NBA? You know, would, would it all be worth it? Uh, and some of these questions were answered faster than others because I remember doing homework the entire weekend my first weekend here in ninth grade. Uh, I think I woke up at Saturday, it was like 10 o'clock, and I was doing homework to like 2, 2.30. Uh, <laughs> um, and you know, I, I was able to make some friends easily. Uh, it was easier than I thought because instead of being in a classroom with 35 people, I was in a classroom with 10 to 15 people, so you know, you really get to know your classmates well and intimately uh, on a daily basis. Uh, and as far as basketball goes, uh, I was able to fit right in. Uh, myself and Will Montana were able to join the team that whole summer, summer full of, I think it was seven seniors, and you know, we got to get under their wing, learn everything they've gone through, put their talents with our talents, and eventually it all worked out for us because we got us a ring this year. <laughs> Looking back, Looking back on, or, um, on campus, uh, we as a class have seen a lot of change these last four years. We have seen new clubs, a more diverse selection of speakers, modifications to the dress code, and we even started learning in bed this past year thanks to COVID. Uh, we have seen some new structures go up and some old structures come down. Looking back on this, NBA's flexibility during these changes have been commendable considering our school's strong tradition. Oftentimes, change is looked at as a negative, but I want to challenge us all to consider change as a positive because of all of these examples have only made the NBA community stronger. In closing, I want to thank my fellow classmates for welcoming me with open arms because I truly feel like we are a brotherhood and you know, you always hear that saying, but I think 
after these four years, you can really, you know, feel it and, and say it with confidence because I feel like I've gotten to know each and every one of you guys very well and you guys have gotten to know me very well and we've made some incredible memories. I'd like to say thank you to the faculty for pushing us out of our comfort zones and encouraging our vigorous debate in the classroom as well as accepting our diversity of thought. You have taught us that we can agree to disagree and still be friends in the end. Thank you. Thanks, Miles. Appreciate you and your comments. So the last uh, part of today's program is a song uh, by Travis Tritt. And would the five, four singers please come up? Will and Jack and Thomas and Sam. Join me in welcoming the four of them as they perform. So, uh, if any of y'all don't know me, I'm Jack Golden. Uh, this is Thomas McRae. On the guitar, we have William Rogers. And on the uh, drums, we have Sam Banks. Uh, we are the band Wet Napkin, and it's a great day to be alive. Yeah. All right. Yeah. One, two, one. I got a rise, in the microwave. Got a three-day beard, I don't plan to shave And it's a goofy thing, but I just gotta say Hey, I'm doing all right Yeah, I think I'll make me some homemade soap Feeling pretty good, and that's the truth It's neither drink nor drug in a juice No, I'm just doing all right And it's a great day to be alive Sun still shining when I close my eyes. It's hard times in the neighborhood, but why can every day be just this good? It's been 15 years since I left home. Said good luck to every seed I'd sown. Gave it my best and I left it alone. I hope you're doing all right. Now look in the mirror and what do I see? A lone wolf there staring back at me. Thirdly, the harmless as can be, Lord, I hope he's doing all right. And it's a great day to be alive. I know the sun's still shining when I close my eyes. It's a hard times in the neighborhood. But why can every day be just this good? Sometimes it's lonely Sometimes it's only me And the shadows that fill this room well, Sometimes I'm falling Desperately calling Howling at the moon Ah, Take my old Harley for a three-day cruise Might even grow me a full man show oh, ah. And it's a great day to be alive I know the sun's still shining when I close my eyes It's a hard times in the neighborhood But why can every day be just as good? It's a great day to be alive I know the sun's still shining when Close my eyes, there's some hard times in the neighborhood. But why can every day be just this good? Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Will, Thomas, Jack, and Sam, thanks for that music. Uh, thank you all for being out here on a cooler night and stay as long as you wish. We've got some lights out uh, for you and I hope it's going to be a great 50 days and a great graduation. We appreciate your sons and working with you. Thanks.